Let's talk about leggings over 50. Should I? Could I? Should we wear them? Shouldn't we wear them? And how to wear them? I mean, we could be going around in, you know, with our, our wrinkly faces in my case and my, my gray hair looking like I'm wearing a piece of external underwear, which I, I don't want to be giving that image. I want to look, if I'm wearing leggings, I want to look classy. <laughs> We want to avoid re that really thin material that's going to, over time or immediately, as soon as you bought it, actually look see-through. You do not want to go for a low quality, poor quality pair of leggings. You don't want to go for a pair of leggings that actually aren't going to pull you in at the thighs. Such leggings have got a fantastic advantage if they are a good brand of actually really giving you shapely thighs. Because my, my thighs are like tree trunks. But in a pair of leggings that are very good quality, they pull my thighs in and give me a nice shape. Give me legs that are, even I think are nice. Look for dark colours. I mean, my, I've got navy ones and I have had black ones in the past. I wouldn't go for another colour. I wouldn't, I would just stick to black and navy because they elongate the leg. Obviously it's gonna be comfortable too. And the right length, you don't want leggings that are too long. So if you're petite like me, we need petite leggings. Otherwise they're just gonna wrinkle around our ankles or we're pulling them up and wrinkling them around our thighs. So we really do need to have the right length legging. So how are we gonna wear them? Well. These days, you remember in the 80s, we wore them with tunics that came to sort of mid-thigh, long jumpers, sort of upper mid-thigh. You know, if you look at young people now, they're wearing them right, to, you know, with a jumper to the waist, you know, and showing everything. Well, I'm not going to do that. You might. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I still want to be covering up my rear and the front of me. A top, sort of the length that we used to wear them, you know, that tunic mid-thigh length or lower mid-thigh length is a bit of a dated look, I think, now. So when we're looking for something, it's hard to actually get that, strike that medium. You've got to have it high enough that it's not that lower mid-thigh length, so it's not looking like the 80s, 90s revival, but at the same time it's covering you. So it's, it's the right, that right length jumper you're looking for. So I've come up with some outfit ideas. Let's talk about these. Now this first example I'm showing is actually a poncho cape type um, item I've got, but it, it could be that you've got a jumper this length, but this is the sort of length I'm talking about is currently ideal and would look current. You know, it's covering me front and back, but it's not looking like an 80s, 90s revival. And I think it looks quite chic with then legs and the, you know, some chunky moto boots as well. This is how I like to wear my leggings now. I would also wear in swarm, more warmer weather, I would wear white trainers. I think that's great too. Try this sort of type of look with then maybe a cap, but not, not this, not this. No, that would just look stupid. And alternatively, what's one of these hats called? You tell me down below, I'm sure you will. You will all comment down below and tell me what it's called. <laughs> but what are these hats? I think that looks, you know, this is a chic look, you know? Now let's talk about um, length of your top. I said I, I wanted my, the length of my top to actually uh, cover me. But if you're thinking about, say, a, a top that you want to wear with your leggings that, that doesn't, a way around that problem of it being too revealing, front and rear, would be to wear a dark, long, dark cardigan. Now I'm saying dark because your leggings in my case, I'm only going to go for dark leggings. So I think then I want a dark layering item that is long enough that disguises, it sort of acts as a camouflage. You can't really now see the leggings by, because the rear of the cardigan is actually disguising that and camouflaging my leggings. And I think this now works. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to do this because it is making a big, big difference to my, uh, my channel. So thanks very much for that. But the other way around it would be to use a scarf, a long scarf, and have that hanging down the front of you. So that adds as, as, add, <laughs> acts as camouflage as, as well. But little tip, don't have the, t the scarf lengths that are hanging down the same length. And one slightly shorter than the other because that, that looks more casual and it's a more stylish way of wearing the scarf, just one slightly longer than the other. You know, look, look at this short cardigan. This, this... For me, I know this is what young people are wearing. This for me, it just, it just doesn't right. It's not right. I don't feel comfortable like this at all. Leggings look absolutely fantastic with knee length boots. I don't mean over, knee, over the knee length boots. I think they've had their day. No, we're talking about knee length boots. So tucking your, your legs into a pair of knee length boots. And those long, um, the, the long vests or um, sweater vests that we're seeing around now, layering one of those over the top of a shirt that, that 
it's modern. And with a shirt hanging out, that's almost the sort of the, the length of the, the tunic sort of length that we wore in the 80s and 90s. But actually this looks modern because we're using a shirt and it's got some shape to it and we're using a modern sweater vest over the top. I think this is a very up to date look. We can either have the shirt hanging out and showing the shirt tails or we could just tuck it in. But we're still gaining that length in a modern way from the sweater vest over the top. We can even belt it and we can use one of these modern belts that wrap around. And how about just simplifying it and wearing an oversized sweater? So this sweater is uh, one from COS. <laughs> Influencers love it. I see it all over the place. And I must admit, that's where I got the idea in the first place because I was seeing it an awful lot and I thought it was great. Even me at five foot two, I actually think I can get away with this and it's coming in at a really good length and balances out those leggings. So it looks great, great with leggings and a, a pair of knee-high boots. Mine's from turtleneck, tuck in the turtleneck to be modern rather than having it hanging loose as it comes, you know, just tuck it in. And of course, there's the absolute just total casual. You may have a oversized or quite a long um, swe uh, sweatshirt, hoodie type sweatshirt, casual sportswear, athletic leisure, athlete, athlete leisure item that is long enough. This is, this comes to just um, upper thigh, some perfect length. It's a modern length, but it's covering me appropriately. And this is the, then a casual look. This is for around the house. This is for going to the shops and uh, walking the dog. Um, I paired it with some biker boots. I could also wear it with, with knee high boots as well, if I wanted to. If you want to see more ways of wearing leggings, I did do a video last year, which is here. And uh, I will see you all in another outfit.